El sábado 22 de abril va a pelear Ryan García contra Gervonta Davis. Este combate tan esperado que está pactado a 12 rounds en 136 libras. Es una pelea bastante esperada. De hecho, en la semana se estuvieron recontrapicando. Gervonta Davis le dijo que le va a romper la mandíbula, que no lleve a su madre y a su hija porque lo van a ver destrozado y después hicieron un Instagram Live donde apostaron la bolsa entera del combate, es decir que el que gana se va a llevar todos los dólares que están pactados. En este juego no está Gervonta Davis y ya que agregaron a Lomachenko vamos a hacer pelear a Ryan García contra el ucraniano a ver qué sale. Creo que en la pelea real entre Ryan García y Gervonta Davis tiene cierta ventaja Gervonta Davis que tiene 28 combates de los cuales 26 ganó por nocao. Es un noqueador terrible. Y Ryan García tiene 23 combates, 19 ganó por nocaut y el resto de los 4 combates los ganó por tarjetas. Así que vamos a simular esta pelea. Si les gusta este tipo de videos recuerden apoyarlo con un like. Veremos quién gana en esta simulación entre Ryan García y el ucraniano Lomachenko. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night as per usual. Everybody's going to benefit. King Rye, Ryan Garcia, one of the most famous boxers the world over. The fastest hands in the game. They call him Flash. There can only be one, Lomachenko, one of the most technically skilled fighters in all of boxing. No one moves around the ring like Lomachenko. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Needless to say, everyone is excited to see this one. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, From Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation, King Rye, Ryan Garcia. Hiding out of the blue corner, presenting the two-time Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, a tremendous two-division champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. You must obey. Good luck. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Missed him with that uppercut. Beautiful counterpunch. the uppercut perhaps the hottest ticket in town for this fight tonight situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here of the millions of people around the world people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He threw the hook, didn't land. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a 
one-sided three minutes. We just saw I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they... What do we expect to see here in round two? This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little tricks you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Score again with the left hand. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. the right hand. He misses with that jab. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. High punch. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent. Let's get it started in round three. You can appreciate fast footwork and fast hands, then this is the division for you. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Tom? That, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Oh, those punches add up. Fantastic punch. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance without a doubt. Here's the bell to start round four. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the prominence comes from. Good 
good left hand. Both men step back for just a moment. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice shot with the left. Nice punch. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to... Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice exchange here from both men. Score with that left hand. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. He got out of the way of that right hook. This fighter's certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. And he fails to score with that left hook. He misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominant. Here we go in the sixth round. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a cusp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous thing. You miss with that jab. These men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. That's a 
scoring left hand. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think? Round seven, here we go. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a little because you've got to get some before you get in close. And he just missed with that left jab. And he just misses with that jab. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? <laughs> Left punch. And he misses with the left uppercut. Perfect punch. Good punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. so far, but how does this match get turned around? I Round eight, and we're off again. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Good right hand. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Good one. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Ten seconds to go. Who's going to get the last shot here in the round? It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what... There's the bell to start round nine. How 
much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. It's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Neither man really defending themselves. Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one will count. Trying to answer back. And he misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout with... It's round 10. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Swing and a miss with the hook. That jab doesn't find a home. Good punch. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That's another scoring shot. So much firepower here. This fight has a real good flow to it. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Let's start 11. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag in a big bucket of them. He just misses with that big right hand. Hand lands. Neither man really defending themselves. Some 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. That left-handed jab doesn't quite score. Both men step back for just a moment. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You've heard the old phrase, this might come down to who wants it more, but it might come down to who's in better shape. Who thought we would have made it to 12? This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Tough, you know what? Sometimes on a day in the ring, you fight like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Punch lands. Which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play free. <laughs> Nice exchange here from both men. So that left lands. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Surprise as we get a unanimous decision there. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is gonna have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree. Gran pelea acabamos de ver. No hubo knockout, pero Ryan García lo tuvo. Entre las cuerdas, en casi los 12 rounds, solo uno pudo ganar el ucraniano. Así que bueno, veremos si se repite esto que acabamos de ver en esta simulación en la pelea del sábado 22 de abril. Dejo hasta acá este video, si les gustó apóyenlo con un like, ayuda un montón. Nos vemos en la próxima.